This is me. I'm just Mr. Average. I have a small business, enjoy jogging, acting, all the usual other stuff. I married a beautiful woman, who if we're honest happens to be a little out of my league. Together we have a beautiful son, who is our world. I'm a family man, I like it. Don't get me wrong, cross me and I can mix it with the best of them, but on the whole, I'm here for a happy, peaceful life these days. As you see me here, I look happy, at peace even. That's because I am. So where did it all go wrong? Well, looking back, probably about now. Morning, love. Hi. I made you a cup of tea. Oh, thank you. Little one, not up. No, not yet. He's still tired out from school holidays. Bless him. Perhaps we should have a chilled one this weekend rather than take him out and about. Mm, sounds like a plan. I'm so tired. Yeah, it was a late one last night. Yeah, I went back to Sophie's after the pub closed. It's not I think that girl's a bad influence on you. Oh, I'm a good girl, you know that, don't you? It's all evil Sophie's fault. Didn't tell you, did I? She's pregnant. Is she? For the second time. <sighs> Let's hope there's no mishaps this time. Well, yeah, but that's not all. Go on. Jen says it's not Jimmy's. What? Apparently it's some guy from down the gym. Your gym? Oh dear. Indeed. How does Jen know? Sophie told her. What? Sophie told Jenna, not you? Well, I guess so. Right. What do you mean by that? Well, you've got to admit it. Jen makes it up half the time. No, she doesn't. Come on. Why do you always have to diss my friends? Not. Yes, you are. Any opportunity to put them down just because you think they're not as posh as your mates who really aren't that posh with their scut girlfriends. Look. I have got time now, Aggie. I've got to go to work, but... I'll see you later. Yeah. I'm getting too old to come home at 6.39 in the morning, Jimmy. I know how you feel, mate. Them days are long gone past me, mate. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, that bird you had last night was a bit of a cracker watch you, <laughs> mate, eh? All right, keep that to yourself, <laughs> mate. Yeah, you want to keep that well away from Sophie. Yeah, I know I do, mate. I know I do. But uh, I tell you, my head was pounding when I got there last night. Oh yeah, what'd you get up to? I had a right afternoon. I went around and seen Vernon. <laughs> I know Vernon. Yeah, he, he does still own Finn's three or four Gs, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's right. good. Yeah. Why? What have you done? I haven't done nothing, mate. I just went round and gave him a little warning. You did keep your cool, didn't you, Terry? Keep my cool? I I'm offended, Jimmy. Of course I kept my cool. When have you ever known me lose my cool? Terry, I could make a list of the times you've lost your cool. What but, did you do? Well, uh, I just went around and gave him a bit of a kiss and a cuddle, you know? Terry, sometimes I do think it would help if you used your head a bit more. I did, Jimmy. I fucking hit him with it. I'm off, Mum. Come and give your mum a kiss. I'm proud of you. I haven't done nothing. You pulled yourself together, lad. But come on, come and give us a kiss. Now, uh, remember what I said. You need to take two of these in a bit, yeah? And um, two of the other ones at about three. Okay? And then um, I'll be back at about five to cut your tea. Yeah. See you later.
He's a good lad. Just sleep okay, mate? Yeah, just tired. Plus your mates. It's hard going back after all these weeks off, isn't it? Yeah. Well, how about when you come in from school, I'll do your dinner, and we snuggle up on the sofa, you and me, and we can watch a film. Your choice? Yeah, the Smurfs. All right, well, if that's what you want, then that's what it'll be. Now, eat up, mate. I'm going to go and have my shower, all right? Were you back then? This day wasn't so bad, eh? No, oh, uh, quite enjoyed it actually. That's good, mate, because we've got a full on day. Tom. Yeah? I just want to say, um, thanks for this opportunity and that. Yesterday it was, it was good. That's all right, mate. You did really well. Got no regrets. Me neither. Come on. Last night was amazing. Yeah, for you. What does that mean? It means I know you enjoyed it. But for me, it was not special, to be fair. <laughs> you really think you're something special? No, I think you're special. Special fucking needs. Now get dressed and fuck off. I got shit to sort. God, what a bastard. God's not a bastard, sweetheart. <laughs> I am. Now which part of get dressed and fuck off do you need me to explain? Prick! Fucking wanker! Um, you fucking shit anyway! Yeah. I'll be there in two. Ah, oh, she's gone. Come on, darling, go get your uniform on. We're going to leave for school. Sophie and Jack are on their way. Mum, can I go on the wee when I'm ready? Well, yeah, the quicker you get ready, the more time you'll have. Okay. 
Hey, babe. Yeah, we're getting sorted today. Trust me, it'll be fine. No, nothing's wrong. Look, be fine. Oh. Look, I've got another call. I'll call you back. Okay, bye. Look, I'll be down in five. Fuck's sake. Dylan? Dylan, come on, darling. We're going to be late for school. We're going to meet Sophie and Jack. Hi, babe. Yeah, literally just walking out the door now. All right, well, we'll drop them off and come back to mine for a coffee. Okay, babe. See you in a bit. Bye. Dylan, we've got to leave now! Okay, Mum, I'm coming. Get in a fucking car. Fucking hell. Whatever. Hi, babe, you all right? Yeah. Kettle's on. Oh, lovely. I can't believe you're pregnant. Jimmy will hit the roof. He's always wanted another one. Well, what if he finds out it's not his? Well, he won't, if no one opens their mouth. So come on then, whose is it? One of the trainers? Is it that cute guy that comes and does weights by you? <laughs> You're such a dark horse. I didn't even know you were seeing anyone. The fact is, I don't love him. I don't even want to be with him. It's just the buzz. Oh, it's amazing. You should give it a try. Wouldn't be hard, the amount that Tom's away, either working late or acting or off on some project. Get yourself a buzz. You never know. I just might. Make sure you get a good one, though. A large buzz. You dirty girl. Jimmy would hit the roof. Oh, I love it. I love the whole danger of it. It sends shivers through me just thinking of it. Do you want another coffee? Yeah, and a cold shower. <laughs> All you need to do is go in and rough him up a little bit. Don't knock stuff and change the shit out of him, it's not necessary, right? Give him a few flicks, a few taps, and he'll hand over the money. How much do we need to have? Four jeans. He's going to give you four jeans. What's my cut? Fuck all, Leon. What? Fuck all, mate. You want a gun? You get it right, you get the gun. Yeah, but for fuck's no, sake. No, 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 no. You don't get it right, and you get shot. Simple. Like you, Leon. Harsh. Fuck. Leon, you do some moaning, right? You know, you see whatever. You see him moaning? No, he's not moaning, is he? You see Vince? Vince didn't moan when he got his face cut apart. For fuck's sake, Leon, stop moaning like a bitch! I've been back in fucking school. Yeah, Tom, it's me. Yeah, sorry about that. I was um, moving some tires. Yeah. 
Ok. You've got to be joking. What the? Leon? Any preference? Okay, mate. See you soon. Bye. Leon! What happened? Where's whatever? Have you got the money? Yeah. And the gun. And I'm getting on with it. Ryan, I've got a job for you. Get your ass to the pub. 6.30, sharp. Oh, and I know you're back, so don't give me no bullshit. What do you want? Still got your scar? Yeah, that's that's what a scar is, Jimmy. It's it means scarred. All right, all right. Don't be a cheeky little prick. What have you been up to? Got a job, Anna. Speaking of which, I'm late, so. <laughs> You've got a job. Yeah. Straight job. It's the kind of thing people do, Jimmy, when we get left for dead by fuckers like you. Alright. I was going to offer you a bit of work. Big payday. Interested? No. I don't do that shit anymore. So please, just leave me alone, yeah? Oi! You know better to walk away from me, kid. No. I'm sorry, Jim. Truly, I am, and... This isn't me anymore. Yeah, I beg to differ. See you later. Looking for Mr. Stedman. He's uh, over there, mate. Tom, there's a guy here. Hello mate, can I help you? I'm looking for Mr. Stedman. Are you talking to him? What can I do for you? You know who I am? Yes, I believe I do. He says you're both square now. Tell him we are. Hey. Tell Bob I really hope Alex shows up. He's a good man. I know he'll be back. Yeah? All right. See you later. said on that transit, so uh, we're going to get off if that's all right. Yes, mate, sure. Cheers. How did it go today? Yeah, it's good. See you later. See you.
fuck? Ryan, what the fuck are you doing here? I, uh, I need your help. Yeah, of course you do. You can forget it. Look, I'm in trouble. Yeah, of course you are. It doesn't surprise me. Neither does it bother me. So do us all a favour. Fuck off. And you're supposed to be my brother. I'm not your fucking brother. You're dead to me. And that's the way it's gonna stay. You think you can just walk back here after last time? After what you did, Ryan? You think you've still got the right to call me old brother? You left me in the shit. You left me to die. Look at this. You fucking did this. You didn't give a shit about me, did you? You were just bothered about where you were getting your next fucking score. Well, not this time. So I'll say it again, for one last time. You're nothing but a dirty, lowlife, scumbag, junkie. You do this, and I will. You do this one job for me, to save my skin, and I'm gone. You never see me again. Never. I've heard it all before, right? What is it? There's two addresses on there. The first one's the hit. The second one is the guy you're meeting. Now you tell him. You're there on behalf of Vince. Vince! What shit are you in, Ryan? It's an in and out job. The risk next to nothing. I do this. And you stay away for good, you hear me? I'll do it. But you stay away for a mum. You're dead to her, just like you're dead to me. So you fucking stay away. You're nothing but a lowlife, pathetic junkie. And let me promise you this. If you do come back, I'll cut you so fucking hard and deep. You wish you'd just gone to Vince yourself. So I'll do it. You need to fuck off back to whichever hole you came from. And never come back. Do you hear me? What are you doing? Fine. Where's the little man? Bed. Bed? Yeah. He had his dinner and I lay down on the sofa to watch the telly. I came back in, he was fast asleep. Never. Poor little mite, he was shattered. Yeah, it must be that school. <laughs> How's your day been? Hectic. Yeah, what have you been up to? I uh, went to the gym and had a massage. That was 10 till half 11 and then me and Sophie met Jen for lunch. Yeah, very hectic. It's not easy, you know. Yeah, I'm sure. Do you want your dinner? Not yet. I'm gonna see my boy and grab a shower. Okay. Hey, 
little man. What you doing going to sleep before your dad gets back, eh? I haven't seen you all day today. I missed you so much. Well, hope you had a good day. I want you to tell me all about it over a cup of tea in the morning. Smokes. No. Shame. So why are you here? Because I got sent here. No. I know that. I mean, what brings you into this line of work? I'm not in this line of work. Not anymore, anyway. But by doing this one job, it rids my life of my fucktard brother. So this time, this time I guess it's more than worth it. Who's your brother? Ryan Hawkins. No way. You're Ryan Hawkins' little brother? Yeah. I know he's not a legend. He's a fucking idiot. Me and Ryan did a few jobs when we started out together. You're anything like him. You'll do all right. I'm nothing like him. I'm not a junkie, nor am I a murderer. Harsh. I have to say, you did go off the rails. I think that's a minor understatement. Anyway, he's dead to me. So what's this job? I was told it was in and out, easy as. Listen, chap. No job's ever easy. Even knocking over and robbing your gran. There's tracks that need to be covered. Plans that need to be made. Meet me outside in an hour. By the way, so your fucking clothes out. Busy day. Yeah, I could say it was interesting. Oh, why? Nothing much, just business. I love the way you tell me all about what goes on in your day. Well, it's not much to tell. So you've done nothing then? Repaired some cars, had a visitor. Nothing much. You just said it was interesting. It was interesting for me. Forget it. We need to sort out an appointment with the bank. Yeah, I'll sort out tomorrow. Oh, well, let me know what time and I'll meet you there. OK. I don't know why you read that rubbish. You just wait, darling. One of these days I'm going to nail an audition. We'll all jet off to LA, all right? Yeah, right. for half hour. Yeah, sure. Oh, I just want to have a chat with her for a bit without Jen being there. She's getting that bad. Oh, you know what it's like. I love Jen to bits, but 
You need to go way back. It's just nice to have a chat on our own sometimes. You gotta go now. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah, sure. All right, thank you. Won't be long. Stop reading that thing. You know you can't act. See you later. See you later. Here you go, Will. Oh, thanks. Sorry, it's not much. I've, um... That's lovely. I've just got a nip out. What are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, don't matter. Um, I'll be back in a bit, though, yeah? OK. Take care. Jake, you be careful. See you, Will. That house there, the one with the light on. Okay, so what's the plan? What's your rush, kid? Calm down. I, I am calm. I just, um, I sort of want to know what the plan is. You're getting all touchy on me, kid. <sighs> no. Are you scared? No. No, I'm not scared. You know, for the first time in my life, I've just landed myself a good, decent, legitimate job working for a guy that I actually get on with. And then you fuckers show up. So forgive me if I'm not singing and fucking dancing. You should have said no to your fucking brother then, shouldn't you? It don't work like that. Why? Because I need him gone. Away from my mum. And this time for good. You know, all the uh, murder and drugs bullshit. It sort of sent her head into a spin. You know, she tried to commit suicide twice. Do you know what that's like? So, yeah. He needs to be gone. And if doing this is the only way to make sure that happens, then... So be it. What makes you think he won't come back? Let's just get on with the job, yeah? Use the mark. A local businessman. He's just getting ready to buy up a new business. And this one is a cash transaction. Okay. There's a deal going down in the next couple of days. He's pulled in money from all sources. How much we're talking? Fifty, sixty thousand. Fifty, sixty grand. This guy's got 50, 60 grand lying about in his house, yeah. Right. He must be deluded then. No. He's rich. Right. I mean, you. We can make him less rich. And uh, what about security? It's a house, not a fucking bank. And what about this guy? Is he going to be a trouble? No. Nah. He's a lover, not a fighter. I mean, you'd be out in no time. 
if this goes tits up and any shit kicks off, I'll be gunning for you. Proper little moody bastard, ain't you? Fuck off. Come on. Let's go get something to eat. We'll come back when they're asleep. Give me a gun for. I don't think we're going to be prepared to you. Oh, it's fucking protected, isn't there? And then there's over the fucking top. Shut the fuck up. Here, take them. Yeah. We're doing fucking surgery as well, are we? If you don't shut up, I'll fucking perform surgery on you.
fuck do you want at this time in the morning? Yeah, did you get my message? Yeah, we've got a problem. No, it's serious. No, it's super serious. I know! through this. We'll be okay. Okay. I'm gonna be okay. It doesn't matter. Where are they? Where are they? There's, there's one in the kitchen. What? I need a drink. The other guy is dead. What? The one in our room. So? <laughs> Two things. Last time I checked, murder is a crime. And secondly, I know him. What do you mean you know him? It's the kid from the garage. What kid you on about? The new kid who works for me. And? And? What do you fucking mean, and? Our son is dead and you're worried about some kid you've known for two days. I just killed a kid for... Oh, Look, we need to focus. I've just committed a crime. Self-defence. The fact I broke his neck and I know him does not bode well. Looks preemptive, not self-defence. But it wasn't, was it? 
I heard them come in. What? I heard them talking downstairs. Well, why didn't you wake me? I was trying to protect you, both of you. Well, you fucking failed and I'm going to ring the police. No. I need time to think. Our son is dead. What is there to think about? Look, just give me ten minutes. It just doesn't look good, OK? In fact, our son is... Don't say it. I'm going to do it. You want to see me go down? Do you want to lose me too? You won't. Oh, fuck, I know how this works. I broke his neck and I shot his mate for good measure. Just say I broke his neck. I won't believe that. Why? You just... You don't get it. Don't talk to me like I'm stupid. I'm not. I'm yes, not. you are. You... How am I talking to you like you're stupid? Well, patronising me and... I don't mean saying patronising. But this just isn't the time for a row, okay? I need a cigarette. You don't smoke. I think this is an extreme situation. I don't see why you need one. You haven't smoked for years. I need something to calm my nerves. The adrenaline's starting to run out. And I can't afford to lose my shit now. Let's just ring the police. No, no police. Look, I'm going to go to the petrol station. Do you think you should be driving? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll clear my head. I can come up with a plan. Just don't do anything stupid like call the police while I'm away, all right? OK. Promise. OK, I promise. All right, I'm going to put some clothes on. See you later. She'll rise out. Here, love. Uh, 20 BH silver, please. Silly season, please. How's your evening? Everything's fine. I love the most in this world. Mm. The one mm. thing I held in my arms and watched grow. You took my baby away. You bastard. You took my baby away. Mm. No! Don't. Won't do you any good. Honest. I'll crush you if you go through those doors. Images and memories that will haunt you. Please, for your sake, just stay out of there, okay? Sit 
Did you come up with anything? Me? Did you come up with a plan? No, not yet. We'll just get rid of both the guns. That's only one gun. We'll throw it in the... There's what? What? There's only one gun. No. That's what you just said. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You just said there's only one gun. Did I? You had a gun. So how did he shoot Dylan if you had the only gun? What? You heard me. How did he shoot Dylan if you had the only gun? You lying bastard. No, no way. You're evil. It's not like that. Sure looks that way. It was an accident. That's it. You've just admitted killing our son. You lying bastard. I don't believe this. You killed him, didn't you? And you weren't going to tell me. Of course I was. You were going to get out of it. No. Don't stop fucking shouting. I don't think you've got any right to start shouting. Do you know how I feel? You? How you feel? Yeah, how I feel. I couldn't give a toss about how you feel. Do you have any idea how I feel? My son is dead. My one and only piece of flesh and blood is dead. And just to twist the knife in some more, it was my husband who killed him. I feel really pretty shitty right now, Tom. And I couldn't care less how you feel. That boy was the only family I have in this world. You have me? No. Your work has you. Your friends have you. I've never had you. That's not fair. I work hard, yes, but my friends have me. That boy was my world and you took him away from me. He was my son too. Yeah, I pulled the trigger, but... I was trying to defend him. How the fuck was I to know that Pedro and there was an aunt? I was trying to protect my family. So don't start on me. I can't be here. No, please, wait. You killed our son, Tom. I can't even look at you. Don't you think if I could turn back the clock, I would? It feels like my heart's been ripped out and stamped on. You didn't tell me, Tom. You didn't stand up and be a man. I don't know, I just couldn't work out how to. No, you weren't. You just kept saying, don't call the police, trying to save your own skin. No. No, that's not true. Fucking hell, I hate you. Look, I understand that. But you've got to believe me. I wanted to tell you. I did. It doesn't matter anymore. Because I've seen you for what you really are. Selfish, horrible, lying bastard. It's not true. It's not true. You were going to let him take the blame. And she'd figured out to worm your way out of it, and then you would have let Leon go down. I'm sorry. Too late. What are you doing? Don't try and use force with me. What did you say? I said don't try and use force with me. No, before that. What? The bit about me worming my way out of it. Well, you would have let an innocent man go down. Firstly, Kate, he's tried to rob us. He's broken in and tried to take from us. Hardly fucking innocent behaviour, is it? And secondly, how the fuck do you know his name is Leon? What? His name. I don't. You called him Leon. No, I didn't. Do you know him? No. You're lying. You are lying. Don't you dare try and turn this mess around on me. I can see it in your eyes. You're lying. Name. Name now. Fuck you. Ah! Ah! You will get away with it. Shut it. Did you set this up? Don't be stupid. Do you think I wanted our son to die? Just answer the fucking question. This is typical you. Turn it all around on me to make me be in the wrong. Just answer me. Fuck you. Did you set this up? Yes. Yes, I did. I don't believe it. Hang on a minute. I bet you met him down at the gym. The fucking shag fest down there or something. Is this one of Sophie's lads? Is it the same one? Oh, you're joking. Is this the prick that got Sophie pregnant? That was a mistake. It wasn't meant to happen. He loves me. No, he doesn't. Look at him. 
Shut the fuck up! You've had a minute from a bullet in the brain, dipshit! Don't talk to him like that! I gave you everything. A life, a home, a child. You have taken away from me! Don't even go there. I've worked my fingers for the bone for what we fucking got. What's he got that I haven't got? He wouldn't be at work till all hours for a start. He'd be here for us. Not like you. If you're not at work, you're at some stupid acting class or an audition, or you're checking your phone till all hours for business. You're boring. How else are we supposed to make money? You gonna work for it? I don't fucking think so. You don't work for anything since we've been together. You're on a fucking free ride. Fuck you. I was the one that was here bringing up our son while you were at work all the time. A grateful bitch. Just fuck off and die. And is he gonna give you what I've given you? He wouldn't need to. Because by now you're supposed to be dead. And I'm supposed to get all this to myself as a widow. I'm speechless. Just fucking speechless. Do us a favour and shoot yourself. That's it. Fuck off to work, Tom. Go on. You don't know how to be a real husband or a real man. in his room. So I've been trying to tell you. See, yes, I've seen him. He's not. He's not there! Tom, what happened tonight? I can't say what time, but I can tell you there will be two of them and her to deal with. I wish you all the best. Good luck, my friend. Bob. Hello, mate. Yes, I already know. Look, I'm gonna need your help. I've got a plan. Won't be long. Stop reading that rubbish. You know you can't act. See you later. See you later. Mum, change of plan. Need you and Dad to uh, do me a favour tonight. Yeah, about what we're talking about. Please, you're gonna have to trust me. All right, little man, you're gonna spend the night with your grandma, okay? Good luck. What now? I don't know. Why don't you put him to bed and I'll call you on the way. Are you sure that you're right about all this? Fortunately, I am. Your dad will have your stuff ready, waiting when you get there. Okay. Mum.
last words. Kate, tonight has been a test of nerves for us all. Never in a million years did I think anything like this would ever happen. The night of our wedding, when we danced our first dance, I did solely believe you'd be the last one I ever danced with. However, you don't get to where I am without being one step ahead of the game. And you are no exception. From the start, I've always been one step ahead. It will hurt me to lose you, but after this, we can never go on. Love, Tom. P.S. Well acted, don't you think? All right, Vince. Everything all right? Yeah. You're off to see uh, Alex in Peru? Maybe. Not yet decided. Well, good luck. Revenge will be done. Where did you get the gun? Where did you get it? Vince. A couple of Vince's goons. Vince's right hand man. I've got to get out of it. What about me? I couldn't give a fuck about you. I loved you. You loved me. If you believe that, then you're even more pathetic than what I thought. Dad. Hello, Princess. I bet she never saw that coming. Are you ready? You know, I uh, thought that side of my life was over. I guess there's some things you just can't change. Mm -hmm.